So the human body have 11 systems, but today we're only gonna focus on the two main systems, which are respiratory and circulatory systems. And now we're gonna talk about respiratory system and its disease. Respiratory system is the network of organs and tissues that helps you breathe. So like, respiratory system brings oxygen into our bodies. Circulatory system consisting of the heart and blood vessels. The circulatory system transports blood to the every part of the body. What is a disease and what causes a disease? A disease are often known to be medical conditions are associated with specific signs and symptoms. So, what causes a disease? Infectious diseases are illnesses brought on by virus, bacteria, fungus, or parasites. Our bodies are a home to a variety of creatures. They are generally innocuous or even beneficial. However, certain microbes can cause illness under particular circumstances. I have here one example of a disease that represents respiratory system. Asthma. Asthma is a condition that causes your airways to narrow and swell, as well as create excess mucus. Asthma causes exposure to allergens or irritants such as cigarette smoke, chemicals, mold, dust, or other things often present in a person's surroundings, and also because of cold air. So the most significant treatments used to keep asthma under control are long-term control medications such as inhaled corticosteroids. Asthma symptoms are caused by airway inflammation, which is treated with these preventive drugs. These drugs, when taken on a daily basis, can help to lessen or eliminate asthma flare-ups. They also have one disease that represents the circulatory system. Heart attack. Example, high blood pressure, smoking, and diabetes. Heart attack are caused by the blood supply to the heart being suddenly interrupted. Without this supply, heart muscles may be damaged and begin to die. During a heart attack, a person may feel pain in the middle of the chest that can spread to the back, jaw, or arms. The pain may also be felt in these places and not the chest. Sometimes the pain is felt in the stomach area, where it may be taken for indigestion. Your doctor may order a cardiac catheterization. This is a probe that inserted into your blood vessels through a soft flexible tube called catheter. It allows your doctor to view areas that plug may have built up. Your doctor can also inject dye into your arteries through the catheter and take an x-ray to see how the blood flows as well due to any blockage. As a responsible individual, we should be careful of what we intake into our body be mindful in doing activities that might trigger your hereditary disease, which some symptoms essential for screening and early detection. If members of the public are aware of a disease and its symptoms, they are more likely to take action to prevent it from happening to them or go to healthcare providers for checkups.